Ever walk down a jet bridge and think, why does this thing still look like a 1960s soda can with wings? Well, hang on. In the next decade, that familiar tube will be the minority. Imagine stepping onto a jet shaped like a manta ray, where every seat's an aisle seat. The engines purr over your head, and yeah, the fuel bill is half what your last flight cost. Sounds wild? It's already on the drawing board, and it's on Delta's tentative fleet list. So buckle up, because the biggest airframe rethink since the jet engine is taxiing this way. Meet the blended wing body, or BWB. From above, it looks like a stealth bomber wearing a cape. From the inside, it feels like a movie theater that grew wings. Jet Zero, bankrolled by Delta and the US Air Force, wants these in the air by 2027. So why bother? Simple. The whole fuselage generates lift. Wind tunnel numbers show gas bills dropping 50% versus a 767 on the same run. That's real money for airlines, and fewer emissions for the rest of us. Inside you'll find 12 seats across, two aisles you can actually pass someone in, and four boarding doors. No more getting stuck behind the guy repacking his entire life at the gate. As for overhead bins, everyone gets one right above their head. No more playing Tetris with carry-ons. And the noise? The engines ride on the rear deck, so most of the roar heads skyward. Your neighbors on the ground will hear a gentle whoosh instead of the usual thunder. Worried about gate space? The outer wings fold up like a Boeing 777X. It still fits in the same parking spot a 737 uses today. Delta's already booking focus groups to see how passengers like the layout. First test flights are scheduled for 2027. Last year, Beta Technologies flew an all-electric cargo bird across New York State. Now they're stretching it to fit nine seats. The trick is a belly full of lithium-ion cells feeding twin electric motors. Inside, it feels like riding a maglev train. No vibration, no jet fumes, just a soft hum. The range is 250 miles. Think Boston to DC or LA to San Francisco. A recharge takes 30 minutes on a one megawatt plug, just enough time to grab a latte. With only one moving part in each motor, maintenance drops 70% compared with a turboprop. Cape Air already has dibs on 20 of them. The first paid passenger hops are planned for 2026. The ghost of the Concorde is back, and this time its name is Overture. Boom Supersonic's baby does Mach 1.4. That's London from New York in three and a half hours. NASA's X-59 showed you can keep the sonic boom to a polite 75 decibels, about the sound of a car door slamming. United, American, and Japan Airlines have already pre-ordered 130 airframes between them. The engines sip 100% sustainable aviation fuel, cutting lifetime emissions. Inside, you'll find 65 live flat pods in a 1-1 layout. No elbows in your ribs. The price tag? Around five grand one way, half what the Concorde wanted in 2003. Service is set to start in 2029. Sometimes the future is just a really good sequel. The 777X keeps the tube and wing look, but stretches its composite wings so long they have to fold at the tips. The 777-9 carries 426 souls up to 7,285 nautical miles while burning 10% less fuel than the 777-300ER. Inside, you get Dreamliner perks, a lower altitude feeling, bigger windows, and air that doesn't turn your skin into parchment. Lufthansa will launch it in 2025, and Emirates and Qatar will follow. You'll spot it on the monster routes. Dubai to Auckland, anyone? Airbus calls its vision zero. By 2035, they want a hydrogen bird in the air. Three shapes are on the table, a turboprop, a BWB, and a narrow-body twinjet. Cryogenic hydrogen sits in tanks behind the rear bulkhead. When it burns, only water vapor comes out the back. The target range is about 2,000 miles, perfect for a flight from Paris to Cairo. The catch? Airports will need hydrogen pipelines and freezers. Airbus is working with Air France KLM and Lufthansa to retrofit Paris CDG Frankfurt and Dubai first. And if hydrogen stalls, Airbus has a backup and open fan engine running on 100% SAF that cuts another 20% from the fuel burn. Step inside the BWB and airlines finally have room to play. Jet Zero's mock-ups show micro-cabins, private pods with sliding doors, lie-flat beds, and 32-inch screens. And in economy? two extra inches of shoulder room. 
That turns the dreaded 17-inch seat into something you can survive a red-eye in. For boredom, there could be lightweight VR goggles in every seat back. Pull them on, and you're in a 360-degree cinema or watching a live tail camera feed. Kids not your thing? One airline wants a netted playroom in the middle of the cabin, with soft floors, projected stars, and direct boarding so the rest of us can sip coffee in peace. Some dreamers want a sky deck, a glass bubble on top of the BWB, reached by a spiral staircase. First-class passengers could get a 270-degree view without leaving the plane. Not into glass? Then, you could replace windows with OLED walls. You could dim them to pitch black or, you know, zoom in on the Grand Canyon in 8K. The fuselage gets lighter and cheaper to build. And honestly, your Instagram feed gets epic. The ride doesn't start or end at the runway anymore. Electric VTOLs, think giant drone taxis, promise 12-minute hops from downtown to the airport. Joby, Archer, and Lilium all have birds in the FAA certification process. So you land at LAX, scan a QR code, and hop into a five-seat Joby S4. The rotors tilt, you lift off, cruise, whisper quiet, and land on a rooftop vertiport. At three bucks a mile, the 20-mile Santa Monica to LAX run costs $60, often cheaper than a rideshare in rush hour. Airline apps are already working to bundle the ticket, rotorcraft leg included. All these new shapes need new ground choreography. Four doors could cut boarding by 20 minutes. Electric tugs will tow planes in silence. SAF hydrants will replace fuel trucks. Heathrow and LAX are already testing split boarding bridges and autonomous baggage carts that roll right under the BWB's curved belly. The goal is to get wide bodies from the gate to take off in 45 minutes. One. The sky's silhouette is about to change. Manta ray jets, drone taxis, supersonic silver darts, they're all rewriting speed, comfort, and sustainability. No more middle seat Russian roulette, no more eight hour red eyes, and a lot less guilt about your carbon footprint. Next time you glance up at a passing plane, remember, that shape is yesterday's news, the future's on final approach, and your seat assignment just got a major upgrade. Here's your boarding pass countdown. 2026. First electric nine-seater commuter flights begin in the Northeast US 2027. The Jet Zero BWB demonstrator takes its maiden flight. 2029. Boom Overture starts limited commercial service. 2030. Electric VTL networks are planned for at least 10 cities worldwide. 2035. An Airbus hydrogen aircraft is expected on select European routes. By 2040, analysts expect half of all sub 500 mile flights to be electric or hybrid transatlantic runs will lean on bwb and supersonic planes cutting emissions per passenger by half your wallet gets a break too think 20 percent cheaper short haul fares and long haul premium seats priced like today's business class except you'll land before today's flights have even finished the appetizer if this blew your mind hit subscribe Next week, we're strapping into a hydrogen simulator to see what zero-carbon takeoff actually feels like. Comment below, would you pay extra to cross the Atlantic in three hours or stick with slower and greener? I read every one. Remember the last time you squeezed into your airplane seat, bracing for hours in the sky? Sure, flying gets us there fast, but let's be real, it's not always a smooth ride. Cram seats, crying babies, dry air, sound familiar? That's why I've gathered seven Flight Hacks airlines, hope you never find out, and they'll change the way you fly forever. Quick heads up, if you love travel hacks like this, hit subscribe now so you never miss a trick airlines don't want you to know. Let's be real, nothing beats scoring the window seat. Clouds, cities, sunsets, it's unbeatable. It's like your own private nook in the sky, cozy, quiet, and all yours. But here's the catch. Window seats get cold, like shivering even with a blanket cold. Planes are engineering marvels, but comfort, that's not their strong suit. Up at 35,000 feet, the plane's outer shell can hit minus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than Antarctica. You won't turn into an icicle, but that chill, it creeps in, especially on long hauls. But don't worry, this one's an easy fix. Just toss a light jacket or cozy sweater in your carry-on, even if you're flying to paradise. Better to be snug than stuck freezing in your seat for six hours. Bonus tip, forget your layer? Ask the flight attendant for a blanket. They've got your back. 
You've just buckled in, the plane's rolling toward takeoff, and the flight attendant hands you a hot drink. Sounds nice, right? Coffee, tea, it feels like first-class treatment. But before you take a sip, there's something you really need to know. That hot water? It usually comes from tanks that rarely, and I mean rarely, get properly cleaned. And it's not just rumors. Actual studies show that airplane water is kind of disgusting. We're talking E. coli, staph, and bacteria you definitely don't want floating in your tea. So what should you drink instead? Easy. Bottled water or sealed juice only. If it's sealed, it's safe. And way more refreshing than mystery tank water. Hydration's important but not at the cost of gulping down germy water. So do yourself a favor. Go sealed, stay safe. All right, time for some airplane hygiene real talk. And it's not what you think. Everyone knows planes are flying germ factories, but you haven't heard the worst part yet. Because the filthiest spot on board, it's not the bathroom. Sure, the lavatory is gross, but there's a hidden hotspot that's way worse. It's that tray table you're about to eat off. Yep. That thing is a germ nightmare. Hundreds of hands touch it every day. And who knows what else has been on it? People eat off them. And yes, even change diapers on them. Flight crews try to clean, but trays often get skipped in the mad dash between flights. Runner up for dirtiest spot? Those seat back pockets you're tempted to stuff everything into. We all toss snacks and phones in there, but those pockets are almost never cleaned. So how do you avoid these sneaky germ zones like a pro? It's simple, just be prepared with a few easy moves. First, throw a pack of sanitizing wipes into your carry-on, non-negotiable. Wipe that tray the second you sit down and give the seat back pocket a once over while you're at it. Let's be honest, nothing kills vacation vibes faster than being trapped at the airport with a delayed flight. But what if I told you there's a ridiculously simple trick that slashes your chances of delays? It's all about timing, and most people get this part wrong. Flight delays snowball as the day goes on. One late plane leads to another, and another. One late flight in the morning triggers a ripple effect that can wreck your whole day, or even your entire trip. So here's the travel hack. Book the earliest flight you can, always. The earlier you're in the air, the less chance you'll hit any delays. It's that simple. And bonus, morning flights are usually smoother for anyone who hates turbulence. Morning air is calmer, which means your flight's smoother, quieter, and just plain better. You land on time, feel more rested, and start your trip off right. So next time you're booking, do yourself a favor. Wake up early and grab that morning flight. Everyone thinks the front of the plane is where all the perks are. Sure, first class gets the fancy seats, the champagne, the VIP treatment, but believe it or not, there's a secret perk to sitting in the back of the plane. Yep, those rear rows. They might actually get better service. When you're in the back, it's easier for crew to sneak you an extra snack or drink without the whole cabin watching. And if the galley's behind you, crew is nearby ready to help, fast. No aisle traffic, no squeezing past carts. It just makes their job easier. Now sure, it's not first class service. Don't expect champagne. But if you want a smoother experience and maybe a little extra love from the crew, the back's where it's at. So next time you book, don't overlook the back. It might just surprise you. Let's talk neck pillows. That tiny travel essential that can make or break your flight. Inflatable neck pillows can be a total lifesaver when you're trying to sleep at 30,000 feet. They keep your head from bobbing around and help you avoid that dreaded neck cramp. But here's a travel fail you'll want to avoid. Never fully inflate your neck pillow before takeoff. As the plane climbs, cabin pressure drops, and the air inside your pillow expands. If it's fully inflated on the ground, it might literally pop mid-air. And yes, it happens. The fix? Super simple. Just leave a little wiggle room when inflating it. It might feel a bit squishy at first, but mid-air, it firms up just right for a comfy nap. One small adjustment now saves you a big mid-flight headache later. Let's face it, airplane food is, well, not winning any awards. But here's a little-known trick that can totally upgrade your in-flight meal. Order the special meal. Now you're probably thinking, 
but I'm not vegan, gluten-free, or allergic to anything. Doesn't matter. You don't need dietary restrictions to score the perks. Here's the deal. Special meals are made in smaller batches and loaded first, so they're often fresher and way better tasting than the regular stuff. Bonus! You usually get your meal first. More time to eat, relax, or dive into your book. Don't be afraid to switch it up. Special meals might just surprise you in the best way. Sometimes, leveling up your travel is as simple as thinking outside the tray. Next time you book a flight, check that special meal box and thank yourself later. And there you have it. Seven flight hacks that could totally transform your next trip. These small tweaks can help you stay comfy, skip the stress, and maybe even enjoy your time in the sky. Got travel buddies? Hit share and pass these tips along. No one deserves a cold seat or a germ-filled drink. Safe travels.